hit the bell icon and never miss another video from Live TV. In India today, the country's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party is set for victory in the assembly elections of the western state of Gujarat. According to official figures obtained from the Election Commission, the BJP is currently in the lead with 111 seats. That's out of the 182-member assembly. A combined opposition led by the Congress Party trails by some 44 seats now. Any party needs 92 seats to rule. But the official results will be declared today. Gujarat is, of course, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state. Neha Punia, our correspondent in Delhi, explains what this looming victory might mean for Mr. Modi's election and, in fact, campaign plans for 2019. It's going to have huge repercussions. I mean, earlier this year, you had the BJP win another crucial election in the state of Uttar Pradesh, one where uh, they weren't in power for many years, and that one they swept comfortably. They've, uh, uh, they were elected to a majority government. Similar results were expected in Gujarat, a state where uh, Prime Minister Modi hails from, where he was chief minister. It was a matter of pride. If his party cannot win this election with a comfortable majority, it will uh, prompt a rethink within the BJP. Did demonetization not have the impact the government wanted? Our traders and the business community, are they still upset uh, with the results uh, of uh, GST, how it was implemented? Has the economic slowdown really hit the BJP's popularity in their own state? So all of these factors will definitely give Prime Minister Modi a pause for a think and will have to ensure that they change their strategy for the 2019 elections. Well, Shalish Kumar is a senior analyst for Asia with the political risk consultancy Eurasia Group. He explained to us what those analysts will be looking for in today's results from Gujarat. Prime Minister Modi led the state for nearly 13 years. But the real question comes down to, is the party going to win more seats than what they secured in 2012, which is 115 or less? Um, I think most people are looking for a BJP win. Uh, our forecast is that the party will likely secure more seats than they did in 2012, primarily because of Modi's popularity, which we still think is intact. The Gujarat election largely became a referendum on the goods and services tax, which was one of Modi's big reforms that he implemented earlier this year. And you know, most people were of the opinion that the GST or the goods and services tax would not be popular, but I think that issue has been overplayed and people probably aren't as upset with it as, as otherwise indicated. And the second is this broader argument that Modi and the BJP have been painting against Congress, which is that it's a dynastic party. It's been rule of the country for 60 odd years and that they didn't deliver. And I think that message does work because at the end of the day, Modi has been in power for three years. There has been some change. And the broader message about Rahul Gandhi just being elevated, for example, as party president, that the party uh, was mired in corruption. There are famous corruption allegations. A lot of these issues do stick. And I think most voters in India continue to believe that the BJP is the better alternative, at least for the time being.